ever heard of the term rolling art? It was coined a long time ago, probably back in the 20s, to describe cars made by Alfa Romeo, Bugatti, Delahaye, Duesenberg, and Talbo, among others, that are now revered collectibles. Sadly, there just doesn't seem to be much automotive art these days. Sure, there are bold, powerful, distinctive designs, but few new cars are immediately classic with that undeniable beauty that you just know is going to stand the test of time. Aston Martin's V8 Vantage, mind you, stands apart from its contemporary competitors. It's so visually stimulating, so beautiful, that no acquired taste is necessary. It's not only gorgeous from up here, but its profile is long and sleek, classically proportioned, and it flows down nicely right to the rear end. And the flush mounted door handles are brilliant. Just push it in like that and it pops out so you can open it easily. Inside it's just as glamorous with leather, suede and metal covering just about everything. But I have to say the plastics are a bit underwhelming. Interesting though, where most British sports cars hang tooth and nail to retro interior cues, like those planks of seemingly solid hardwood in Jaguar's XK, and contrasting leather piping that wraps around the seats of Bentley's Continental GT, the Vantage seems minimalist in comparison, and its center console is so uncluttered it could be Swedish. Its simple, straightforward approach is unorthodox to say the least, especially in this class. Getting the key inside is a bit of a task, Got it slotted in here and there's not much room to do it. And then turn it on, hit the start button, and listen to that exhaust sound. Gotta like that. I think we've got a problem though. The tachometer's busted. Take a look. It goes backwards. What's with that? can tell the Aston's a very fast car. It'll go from zero to 60 miles an hour in around five seconds, and it'll top out 175 miles an hour, which is quick by any standard. But really, if you just stepped out of a Porsche 911 Turbo, you might feel a bit disappointed. You know, it's, it's not top tier performance. Still, this isn't what the car's all about. It's a lot more luxurious than the Porsche. It's a lot more elegant. And I think that that's what Aston was trying to do when they put this car together. And really when it comes down to it, do we really have opportunity to use all the power in something like the Porsche? No, really, this is a good car to drive every day. Okay, let's be honest. Aston's 4.3 liter V8 isn't as powerful as most in this class. It produces a strong 380 horsepower and 302 pound-feet of torque for sure. But in a power-hungry era that has us thinking that 400 horsepower is merely adequate, it feels a little bit underpowered. Porsche's new turbo is outrageously quick with 480 horsepower. Audi's R8 hits the respectable mark of 420. But once again, I'm reminded with the Vantage, as with so many other cars, it's not all about straight-line performance. Spec sheets might get teenagers excited, but after all, we're mature, responsible adults here. I like that sound. Okay, well, maybe I'm just pushing it a bit here. But either way, this Aston's more about the sum of the parts than just the engine specifications. So it's not the most powerful, but it handles the corners extremely well. It grips with a tenacity that's, that's well, it, it should at this price range. And, uh, and it feels comfortable while you're doing it too. One of the things I like about it, it's a supercar that has stability control, traction control, ABS brakes, all the things that real people who may not be performance uh, drivers, professional drivers, want in a car. I know I want those things anyways. Is Aston Martin's new Vantage the most fun I've had in a car all year? No, nowhere near. Actually, it doesn't handle the best of any car I've driven, and not only that, it's not the quickest, but that really doesn't matter because what comes down to is it's absolutely gorgeous. I could look at this car every day and I would never get bored of it. And in my books, that makes it a top performer.